We are in downtown St. John's at this unbelievably cool spot that we actually found out about from Seamus O'Regan. Uh, St. John's boy, this is Blue on Water and it's a beautiful boutique hotel, lovely restaurant and a very cool bar. And I'm sitting beside probably one of the coolest people I know around right now and that's Kristen Pellerin. How are you? I'm doing very well. And this is your hometown too, right? Yes, it is. Now, Mount Pearl, which is really just sort of a smidge outside the city. Yeah, about 15 minutes. Yeah, but you're, you're homegrown and how cool is it that you're working here on a, on an, in a hit show? It's a dream come true. Yeah. I couldn't have even imagined it happening. <laughs> no, because I mean, you've gone away. You've done the theater, you've done movies, you're, you're, you've done the big city thing and you're home now. Do you have a preference? Is it? Um, I've got a really good balance going where I'm like six months here and six months in Toronto and it complements each other very well. Okay, and it's a sprout. No, what's the um, the name of your theater group? Uh, Soul Pepper Theater. Soul Pepper. We were, you know what? I'll just share with you. We were talking off camera about the Sprout, which is another cool place in town. And I was thinking in my brain, I knew it was a vegetable of some kind. Soul Pepper. So, and that's a theater group, live on stage. You need to doing that a long time. Yes, I think I'm going back for my fourth season or fifth season now. Yeah, in January. The show here in town, it's got the energy of St. John's, and I just want to get into your character a little bit. So of course, I was saying Constable Leslie Bennett, but you've been promoted. Congratulations. Thank you. Sergeant <laughs> Leslie Bennett. Um, and I just want to talk about your love life, if that's okay. Is that right? <laughs> with Jake Doyle? Yeah, with Jake Doyle. <laughs> well, not off camera, because that would be wrong. We just met. <laughs> Maybe in our next interview. No, I met with Jake Doyle. Because I was thinking to myself, is he like your greatest love or your biggest mistake? Both. <laughs> yes. You didn't even hesitate. No, both. Yeah. Yeah. Now, and, and I must say, I was so happy in the last episode of the first season. I thought things were really going to happen, and in the last 30 seconds, it went in the ditch. Yeah, it's a it's a cliffhanger. It's a cl sure. And you're not going to tell me anything, are you? There's a lot of stuff that happens in season two. Okay, now we're we're chatting, you and I. This is like uh, n middle of October. How far into uh, season two are you in terms of shooting? Uh, we're shooting episode nine right now, and we'll be finished that on Wednesday. And then um, we've got 10, 11, 12, 13. Wow. And it, we'll it must go by fast, though. It it does, yeah. yeah. Like it really clips along, especially this season. Everyone is uh, ha has got a lot more confidence, and everyone's much more efficient, and so it's going along in a clip. Now we talked to Alan um, Hako, the star and creator of the series, and he said the city of St. John's has been so supportive. And uh, it's so funny, because even my mom now, she's like, they were shooting down, and my mom knows exactly where you guys are, but really yeah. they've embraced you guys. Yeah, when we're filming outside, um, there are crowds b that gather around, and we'll turn around and be like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, so it, it uh, it's wonderful, everyone's really supportive. Okay, now we'll talk about it, because CNBC and we celebrate the four Atlantic provinces, and you really are a hometown girl here. If someone was saying, I'm coming to St. John's, I'm coming to Newfoundland, where would you tell them to go for, say, a coffee? A coffee's have a java. Okay. Yeah, yeah. for sure, on on, on um, Water Street. And the Gypsy Tea Room is a favorite place of mine. I celebrated my last two birthdays there. Did you? Yeah. And what makes that special? Is it really tea? Like, does it No, it's beautiful food, and they've got a gorgeous cellar downstairs that's all mm -hmm. sort of stone, and it's it's beautiful. And how about shopping? Shopping. Got any favorite spots? Yeah, there's great places downtown. Twisted Sister, Johnny Ruth. Um, Are you a shoe girl? Uh... I, I'm coming around. Are you? My sister teaches me about that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But you're not really. No, you it doesn't really have zero time for shopping, Kristen Keller, and with your schedule. Yeah, well, we sort of, uh, not a whole lot, but when for events and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. You but gotta I gotta get out. I gotta be shown. <laughs> okay, now I'm only bringing it up because you mentioned it, your sister. Um, and I was reading a little bit of research, shocking but true, um, that you sing, and I saw you in the seas this past season singing. Um, have your sisters, do you ever perform publicly that we could see you? Um, well, my sister is actually the lead singer of the Gramercy Riffs. Right.
they're a wonderful local band. They're really hot and up and coming. Um, and the three of us sing together. And we Do you have a band name or anything? Um, we're working on that. Really? But <laughs> yeah. Scoop, I love this. Yeah. <laughs> you, I mean, you sang so beautifully. Now, was that because you're a singer they wrote that in? Yeah, well, it's funny. It's very spontaneous. We always go down to the Duke right. on Thursday nights. And so all the writers and everyone was down there. And then I sang a couple of songs with Sean Panting at the ship. So everyone came over and the writers were there. And the next day we got the script and it was written into the script what had happened the night before in real life. I will give my love an apple without air a core. I will give my love a house without air a door. I will give my love a palace wherein he might be. And he may unlock it without ever a key. Yeah. It was beautiful. Thanks. It, I cried and I thought for sure this is it now. He's gonna run right over and tell you he loves you, but no. No, close but no cigar. Close, but no cigars. <laughs> okay, and you're still not gonna tell me anything. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Tips are sealed, but we're going to be watching The Republic of Doyle when it airs. Do we have an air date? Uh, it's in January, January, early January, I think, but I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, we'll have the specific. website there, and we'll be looking for you, uh, Sergeant Leslie Bennett. Great. Thank you, Kristen Pellerin. My pleasure.